I promise this content will go away soon. <laughs> tournament practice. This format will be dead. Are we even going to upload this before the tournament? Nope. This card. Maybe. I nope. Don't I don't have time to edit this video before tomorrow. I'm going to play Jade Empire. <laughs> Priorities. This guy has them in the right place. I really want to play Jade Empire, so I mean, we're going to play Jade Empire. Alright. Uh, summon that card. Yeah, that card's good. Effect of that card. Yeah, that card's good. Discard that card. Yeah, that card's good. I didn't realize that card was at one. Yeah, that card's at one. It's one of those things that having not had the context of actually playing in this format just seems kind of funny to me. Like, of all the Light Sworn cards to hit, why did that one? They hit all of them. Card Of this ban list, Card Trooper went to one. I know. Um, Lumina went to one. Charge went to one. Honest went to two. Trag went to one. It was literally the let's murder Light Sworn. Slaughter format. Yeah. Pass. Slaughter Swarms. Dushy. Pick one. No! Oh, god dang it. <laughs> I mean, gear frame, because I fucking hate Fortress, but... Alright, cool. Yeah. Do your... Alright, Magic Drain Bottomless. Creature Swap Smashing Ground. Are you gonna Creature Swap? I feel like that's Neg. To like, so so it's it's like, okay, it's neg to give you a guy, but like the thing is, smashing ground's actually more correct here because um, you have all you, like your your level six guy his defense is like smaller than yeah it's like thirteen Greffer, so or like smashing thousand. like yeah it's straight a thousand yeah. yeah so like like this card and Armageddon Knight always protect your guy from it. So it's like more correct to like smash it out of the way and not attack. Smash. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. So you're bottomless still. Yeah, uh, 14. Bottomless and magic drain. Yeah, I'm shuffling them up and I'm setting both. Go for it. Pro set creature swap. You and Chris pro, head, pro set heavy meat last night. <laughs> Did it work out for him though? Uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, it was good. It was really good. That card. Yeah, so that card gets on your bottom. So that card's really good. Swoop. This guy should obviously crash, right? Obviously. Do I want to send Plague? Like, force the bottomless with something? That's not really good here though. I'll just set that up. I am so good if you didn't have dust shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but I had dust shoot. This guy had dust shoot. You're playing around your bottomless is what's gonna foobar me. Yeah, this guy's gotta draw a heavy storm and have a spell in hand. I don't wanna yeah, I don't wanna summon my my arm wing without having a way to like protect it. Here we go. Guy, come on. Effect. Hold on. Guy, okay, come on. Why do you gotta be like that? You already have a gadget in hand yep. to, to put it out there. God, what do I have to deal with that? Oh, God, I hate my life. Yeah, go. Right. You okay, bud? I hate that card. I hate that card in this format. Uh, 400 over. It's gonna die either way. Fourteen. So eighteen total. Yeah. Go ahead. Doesn't summon it though. You got two macro. Darn right I have two macro. Bottomless magic drain. Yeah. These guys. Bio into form of that card. Uh, this one here, and then you judgment. And then I judgment. Okay, cool. That 
creature swap is gonna be a pain in my dick. Yep. So it's like I can't even like go ham with anything here. Yep. <laughs> this guy's like, that's the plan. I mean, that's kind of what this deck does. It's annoying. It's just really poorly built, but I love it. Just a big old paint. This guy's playing gadgets and not ultimate offering because he's just like, dude, who needs to win the game when you can prolong it for like ten hours? <laughs> And you can time out strats. <laughs> when you can, we can you just go into tying them every round. Who cares? I have necro, so I'm not super worried about dying right this second. But let's uh, let's kill that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna lose 500 life points. Ooh, life points. 2475. Yep. See, he's got the Rigo. Here we go. So now. If I creature swap you, you'll just give me the Raiko or the set value. But I, if I could just like attack and then main two attack and then do stuff, and it's like, what, what do I care? All right, so you just like summon this guy, activate effect. Yeah. Hey, should I cite skill drain? Red eyes yellow. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Just sitting here looking at my side deck. So, the question is, I want, do I want the armed wing? No, you want my set card. Well, because you have how many in your hand? One? One. So it's like... Big one. It's like, if I, if, if you give me the Raiko, I could use it to pop the armed wing. I'm just like, if that isn't Raiko, like, if, if that's like a, if that's like a value and... Just a set value. If it's a set value, then like, that's just like really bad, so it's like, do I risk it being a set value or a set plague spreader or something? Like, Are you just trying to win the game right now? No, I'm not trying to win. You have a Necro Garda. Because like, I have two gadgets, so I can go attack. If you Necro the other one, I can attack it again. Yeah. If it's not Raiko, so it's like, I keep the two gadgets on the board to do that. You do. Which is why, I don't know, it just seemed important to do that, because I want to be able to get rid of both of these. So, I'm, I mean, if it is Raiko, you pop this. I mean... Attack. Attack it. Attack this up, yeah. Yeah, I can't. I cannot realistically protect both. And it's that guy. It's Sangan, okay. So either way, it was bad. Effective Sangan. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going to creature swap? Probably. Because do you have a Bayou game? No, I don't. You don't? Yeah. If you're gonna creature swap, you're gonna have a big monster. This is probably still the way I wanna play it. Yeah. Armageddon? Yeah. Yeah. So, you do this guy. Let me give you the red gadget because he can't beat over green. Now I get a, a, a big guy, and then. Your armor, you have to like pop this and Armageddon, and like so like if you can do that, that'd be pretty sick. But go for it, without without activating a spell unless you have another spell. So right, go for so it. That's, that's okay. So just the magic grain still. Oh come on. You need two, so if I let you two go, yeah, because if, if, if I let that go, you have, you literally yeah. have that plus yep. that, and that gives you both, so that gives you the other guy, so you're, you're fine here. Yep. So it's like, makes sense to, to magic during that. It does to me. So you're sending, okay, send play. Working hard for it. Yeah. Oop, that's my side deck. <laughs> this guy's gonna make go yo, which is pretty good. Yeah, I didn't read the Armageddon getting plague. Uh, but like, you're like 
you're like far behind at this point. I take five. Or do I take? Again. Yeah. It's probably the one that makes sense to take back because it's bigger. Uh, that is your go. Drop. Alright, so. Pitch. Special. Yep. <laughs> oh, gross. So now it's like. Torrential and Mirror Force are the thing. I'm um, just like, you summon effect. Yeah. It's like, if I if, put it this way, if I summon this guy and I get Mirror Forced, I have a gadget. And if I don't summon it, I have a gadget. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they're the same thing. Is uh, Solidarity attack and defense? It's just attack. Just attack. Yeah, it's just attack. Okay. So, over that. I think you go over this first. Because that's at what, 30? 30, 33. 33. So if you space this, I get to pop a card. Yeah. Like if you attack, so I feel like I go this first. With that space. Because you haven't used that yet. Yeah, you haven't used space yet. No, I haven't. Um, I don't want to. I still, have, even if I necro that, I still have to deal with it. So. That is true. I'm going to put it face down. Put it face down. All right, no, I attack with that one. This yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, 14, so 800. 14 over 14. I don't think there's any reason for me to stop that. Yeah. 800. Yeah, you know what your top pick is, so. Yeah. Go for it. That's the problem. If you run this over. I mean, and I have to. So I'm going to pop that. And then I'm attack for game unless that card's also beer horse. That'd be sick. Get another gadget. I, it's it's almost like the the play might have to be like to survive. I have to take a gadget just to have another body. Oh, just to have a body. Yeah. If I if I want to try to survive the turn. Because you still have Necro Guard now. Because you have to draw, you have to draw a card. Because this, would, if you if you pop it, this kills it, and, and, and then that's you have three monsters to potentially whatever this is, and I only have one Necro Guard, and one gadget kills me at the moment. So I literally have to kill like green gadget. You want if you want this guy, he's got the bigger butt, but I don't know if it matters. It doesn't matter. I'd rather take the attack points off the board. So six hundred, right? Uh, it's at twenty-two. Yeah, he's at twenty-two. So six hundred. Yeah. So I'm at fifty-six. 64 is what I have you at. Uh, I took 800 from... Oh, I took 800 I should have taken 800. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah that's right. Setting a card. Pass. Set monster. Pass. Draw. Alright, this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. Think this through here, please. Because you, if that's where I go, and you have no, do you have a volume grave or no? No, you don't have a volume. The only live thing in my graveyard is my necro garden right now. It, I, I mean, I guess technically, like an arm wing, if I could get a volume in there, that's basically Soroko, but better. But okay. Um, I mean, I'm gonna summon this guy. In fact, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna I have no hand. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna summon that guy. Do as you will. That might not be that against me. Yep. See, now I don't think I die unless you have like a limiter removal or another solidarity. Well, I mean, you would just it, you would just like if I flip summon this. This is the only thing that can kill this. So if I had right. another solidarity, yeah, I could get over it. Um, and just like win the game that way. Um, it's the question of what, whether I attack this. I, because it, it, if I don't know, I mean, I, I, you'd probably know I run Caius, so it's like, are you okay with me top decking and attributing whatever it is for Caius? Possibly. What do we have in here? We've, we've used. How many gadgets? One, two, three, four, five in my hand. Because, like, 
if I if I go because I am gonna kill oh six sorry six one two three four five yeah six okay so I mean we are gonna kill this or that guy and then we are gonna attack this uh, I think I necro that yeah because you have to keep that on board yeah and then like so like if this is Ryko I want to attack it if it's if it isn't Ryko, if it's if I think it's Vayu... Yeah, like a dead Vayu. Well, it wouldn't be a dead Vayu. Well, but it's dead on the field. Yeah, it's dead on the field. So, like, what I'm trying to think is, if it's Ryko, why why would I attack it? Like, would it matter to me that I attack the Ryko? I mean, I could flip it and pop this for free if I don't have a hand. Which, like, I don't know if that matters to me at this point, because, like... So it's like if you flip, pop this, because you have to do something with your hand first. Correct. The only downside is if you draw value and then I have to take the value out of your hand. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. No, I think I don't attack it. I'm going to see what happens if I don't, so go for it. I'm going to see what happens if I don't attack it. Interesting. So I don't think there's anything I gain from killing a Ryko, getting the Ryko off the board, and I also don't think there's anything I gain, obviously, from putting the value in the graveyard. I've seen bottomless, and that's it. Yeah, bot. Well, I mean, you see magic drain. No, oh, okay. Cards are relevant. Cards I'm worried about attacking into. <laughs> magic drain. Oh no. This guy's got more monsters. I don't think I attack here because if that's a deep prison, I'm just hosed. Year go. Drop. Okay, so I think I know what to do here. Effect. Yep. That was hard. Well, <laughs> just go away. Yeah, I'm playing nine gadgets. Don't judge me. Nine gauge. Did you fit the ultimate offerings in there? Nope. <laughs> How many hybrids do you have in there? Did you get that up up from one? Yes. We have, we have multiple hybrids this night, thankfully. All right, so what do we got here? So what I think we do is first we do... Over this. For five? Well, we're at 30 through 20, so 500. And then, the only one, so. Kill that. Fight. Game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't do it, because I was like, if you were able to do something, I, if you killed this, I could compulse my own gadget and then have two gadgets to pitch for Fortress. Drawn. Chaos Sorcerer. Ugh. So that was like the the reason I did that was because like if I didn't if I didn't attack and it was like a Ryko or something like that I could like if you Ryko pop my fortress I have I'd have compulse to put a gadget back in my hand to revive fortress. Makes sense. Which is really stupid. Big dumb. Yeah. Oh uh, side deck. We should do that. Yeah. That is a thing we will do. This left my extra deck. I know because the sleeves are different colors. <laughs> we, we have like polar opposite color schemes. Which is kind of cute. I wonder if I can even side that many cards. I do have a decent amount of sides of side outs for you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll ship my hands. Yeah, there you go. I'll show them. Why not? Those cards. Smack them all around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Maybe for Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We don't condone that type of behavior here at, at, at Who Needs Matter. We're a family channel. You fucking kids. Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I am 
siding out with these guards. I didn't say what I sided out, but I don't, I don't care. And I am siding in with these guards. All right, you're going first, so I'm gonna draw my hand. Come on, game. Give me my side deck. Let me get let me get broken here. Your I'm, I'm your deck worries me. Why is that? Because it pretty consistently outbandages me. Oh. Is it because I side deck a gratuitous amount of floodgates? Oh, like even before the side deck cards, like fortress is kind of annoying for my deck to deal with unless I get to Kai's on it. And then I get to look at your hand. Yeah, and then and then you get to poop on me. I've always wondered how that worked. If like you Kaiest, no, I don't mind. That would that would, that's stupid. That's wrong. That's completely wrong. <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm an idiot. I'm glad. I was, you... I was literally thinking of it completely superfluously incorrect ruling. I was like not right at all. I'm glad we've reached a consensus. Yeah. Wow, that's really bad. I don't want to do that. Pass. Alright, so what if we summon the guy? The guy is Who's... fine to summon. Let's go. 14. Ouch, my face. See, that's the best part about playing 43 cards is if you solemnly side deck a certain amount, you can't overside because <laughs> you're playing. I can't, I can't remember if I'm playing 43 or 44, but I'm playing a lot. More than the minimum. Yes, go for it. Dude, you have more set cards than I do. I don't like that. It's, it's kind of fun, if I'm being honest with you. I don't like doing that either. See, this is the, the thing that Peter was talking about, where if I just play Ultimate Offering, it, it's, the, it's the Wolf Bark Syndrome, where it's like you can have extremely technical play, or you can just like eat glue and summon Wolf Bark. <laughs> this is the game. Cool. It's like, yeah, you can make extremely technical plays, but I can just summon Wolf Bark. Dust it. Uh, it's Book of Moon. Alright, that didn't really matter. Big sad. Yeah, I'm not booking my guy because Armageddon beats over it. Oh, that card beats over it. Uh, effect of that guy. Yeah, he's got a Kai. Oh, he's discarding the Kaius. Discarding the Kaius. Do you have more Kaius? What do I send? I... I'm just going to send that now. That card's pretty good. Am I getting the big 300 beats? You're definitely getting the big 300 beats. All right, is that happening now? Okay. Yeah, I'm not. All right, 7766. I'm, I'm not initiating the Wombo. Uh, that is over to you. Oh, well, now. <laughs> the game's like, you want to activate that card, don't you? I was like, I need the Smashing Ground on that card. And it's like, hey, you're going to draw Smashing Ground. Smash. Oh, the guy. Yeah. The guy is fine. See, the dust, it's pretty relevant because this guy sitting in my back row. So it's like, the dust is relevant. Just can't protect the guy. Uh, go for it because we don't have any more set cards. Are you attacking? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought that was, I thought the, I thought the 13 was like a thing. Go for it. Sorry. I just don't want to assume. That's fine. See, my favorite part about the gadgets is you have a back row, but you don't want to activate it because this guy does nothing. <laughs> He's already done his job. He, yeah, he's there. He's there doing it live. See, this is when it comes into play that I should have done the other thing. What was the other thing? Where you were like, he can't, he can't get over my guy. And I was like, jokes on you smashing ground. Because you have the second Caius. We've had Caius, but what about second Caius? Second Caius. Second Caius. <laughs> No. Is it? Is this? Yeah, I, think, is it, I, I, I think I just try to push your face in. Oh, what the hell is going on here? All right, okay, brother. I think we're just gonna start getting rid of stuff. Brother, brother, brother. It doesn't matter. Pop it. Okay. Brother, listen, brother. Listen, brother. Twenty-eight. Oh yeah, brother. Listen. I'm at forty-nine. You're fifty-three. Yeah. That is over to you. We've had Smashing Ground, but what about Second Smashing Ground? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hey, look, I, 
I could summon a second dad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do the guy now. The guy now? Yeah, bottomless. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why the Dust Tornado came in, because I can't book him. Yeah. The Dust Tornado came in handy. Alright, we have to cycle again, though. <laughs> oh, damn it. Attack. Attack, eh? Yeah. It is a Renko. Yep. Come on, Sirocco. That's not... Oh, come on. I'm supposed to draw that card. Oh, uh, this guy's dead. Uh, but we can set a card now. Go for it. Ooh. That's really funny. Pass. Right? Yeah. It's almost like my deck makes my decisions for me. Advantage engine engage. Yeah, red adds yellow. Yellow adds green. Attack. All right, go park team. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> This guy's gonna chias me, and I'm gonna cry. Go for it. No, but you're building advantage, and I'm not, so it's it's making me feel bad things. Yeah, that's what this deck does. It builds advantage. That's the point. That's why I'm here. Oh, barnacle farts. Uh, He's thinking. Yeah, bad thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Thoughts that don't matter here. <laughs> oh no. Hey, it gets them both in the graveyard. It does. Isn't that fun? It is fun. I'm having a great time. How fun is this? I'm having a great time. Uh, hold on a second. I'm thinking real quick. You have, you summon that guy. You have two in hand. I don't know any of them though. Mm, correct. Yeah, I don't even add anything. Oh. I don't really add anything. I know you don't add. Ever. Yeah. No card you can play Thunder King. Sangan. Thunder King is lower impact, though, in, the, in this format. It it's really... not nearly as good as Doom Cow. Yeah. Doom Cow is just a better anti meta card. Or Fossil Dino. Fossil Dino is not that good either in this format. Fossil Dino is the guy. Because everything just beats over Fossil Dino. But just set the Fossil Dino. Then you just pop it with Egg Attack. <laughs> <laughs> not right. every deck is Black Wings. Dragons run into Fossil Dyna and go extinct. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, go for it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. We're out here being good? Yeah. Yeah, that card. That card's good. Is the summon of that card Gucci? Yeah, that card's good. Alright, so it's like, do I bother attacking? Because I could just sit on this, and you have no way to get over the. I mean, you smashing ground twice, you could creature swap me, and that would make me be sad. I could creature swap you, which is really funny to me. Oh, I hate every part of this. I mean, what does killing it even do for me besides get a monster off your board? It's not like you can XYZ with it, you know, synchro. Well, yeah, but I could just keep getting more monsters. So let's, like, put it this way. Alright, so if you attack and I don't have a response, like, like, you're not doing damage to me by attacking, so that, that's one thing. So, like, I have to get rid of my cards to attack for that. But the other option is, is, like, if you don't attack, I can just keep putting weenies on the board. Yeah, that only matters to a point, though, because you're not going to tribute them for anything. They just sit there. I think I'm going to wait until I'm better defended to attack. I need this monster to stick. Okay, yeah. nice. Go. All right, yeah, thank you. Pretty sure this is the correct route in this scenario. Uh oh. Effect. Yeah. One, Run two. from it, fear it. It is inevitable. Wow, now you have aggroes. Oh, okay. And then the quit pops it and then it runs over my battle, so it would destroy this instead, because this Ooh, you can do that. But then if you attack me, yeah. So and then Necro, yeah, and then I can put this in defense. Go ahead. What does that do for me? 
It destroys this, but then battle happens. So you, yeah. Yeah, so you can't... I win. <laughs> Big boy wins. Yeah, dude. No, it, it's, it's like, so if I go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it doesn't matter what gadget I draw right now. But you did pitch the gadget. Yeah. So... I pitched it. I pitched yellow, yeah. So I was saying, like, it doesn't matter what gadget I summon at this point, they're all going to get to each other. Right. Because if you, if you don't interrupt the mid-cycle, that's that's the thing you have to, like, remember when you're playing this deck is, like, will I, like, r like be summoning, like, holding gadgets that don't have any targets left in the deck? Like, that's what you don't want to happen. Uh, play effect? Yeah. I was contemplating soloming the Cataster, and I was like, "No, I got this." And then if you had a if, if you had a back row, I could I wanted to save it for that back row. Oh, I wanted to save Judgment for for a more high impact monster. I know that card's good, not that card, the other card. I mean, Black Rose is good too, the Cataster mostly. Oh, that's so rough. Because this is uh, thirty one. Oh yeah, because you just spotted Solomon. Yeah, I now. can. So thirty one, forty one, fifty one. Yes, yeah, fifty eight. Or 56. So you have to put it on stream board. Or kill something. How do I do this? I can't do it both. Oh, that's frustrating. You have two cards. I know. You have anything. What do you have in here? You just have Vayu too. You don't have Soroka. Or, or whatever. Yeah, Soroka is the five guy. You don't have the five. You foolish burial. Pop the gear frame. Ooh. Okay. I have to. In order to I, I to, to live. Literally have to. Here you go. Like if I draw green gadget, it's not enough. Uh, thirteen. Yeah. Twenty-five. So thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Yep, you go. I was say green gadget was not enough. <laughs> I do that. That's not enough. <sighs> I think I think you have this. I don't have a way to. There was a decision I could have made early game that would have made all the difference. Can you survive? If you don't draw another monster, yes. Well, theoretically, but I don't There's think a lot of cards left in this deck, and maybe not a lot of monsters, so see if you can survive. Struggling to figure out what happens here, because you get that back, I, or I get this back. Oh, if you go, brain fortress attack Caius is the only way. Is that card in your hand, Caius? If that card in your hand is, because you could go, brain not attack Caius, and get rid of it, and then. You stack it for Caius. Ooh, be prison mail fortress. Take it. It's yes. not Caius. Ah, I thought it was Caius. Uh, attack again. When you enter battle phase, bury. <laughs> you don't want to put the grapher back? No. Negate. Okay, well, so when I, or, or you just are you negating the attack? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say. Attack, yeah, do that. Uh, play this card, so I'm big. 
And then set this card in pass. Alright. Draw heavy. Oh, I dare you. Yes. Yes. Drop. Oh, that's Scott. With the with the with the garbage. Swing. <laughs> Swing? Yeah. See? Perfect. So you can get out of it. I'm mad. That wasn't Caius. I can maybe get out of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can probably get out of it. So that guy's at twenty one. He's right at twenty one, yeah. So if you get Armageddon Knight, and then you could send... Soroko. Soroko. Yeah. Uh, your go. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Anything upon resolution of that? Not, um, do your thing. Yeah, I don't think you can run DD Crow. Nope. Because then you'd be able to attack over me. Yeah. Uh, Vayu. Yep. Yeah, that card's Anything good. Anything on Sonom? No, dude, that card's good. It's too much bigger than me. Prison, a book, and a judgment. Great, I always suck at making these calls. <laughs> well, okay, so what are you thinking here? Well, because I have a plague. And oh, a card in my and a card. So, so it's like, do I turn this into Stardust or Thought Ruler? Well, here's, or do here's, I do I just swing and? Well, if you turn it into a Stardust and or Thought Ruler, like what? So, I mean that. I don't think it's torrential because you probably would have done it on this because all you need is a monster and I have, I'm gassed. So I'm, I'm afraid it might be Mirror Force or D Prison. Okay. D Prison, you probably run two of more than that, and Mirror Force is a one of, so it's like, or, or it could be Book. Could be Book. So I, I think mathematically, Thought Ruler is probably the play here. That, or is it worth. Um... Well, how do you how do you activate Thought Ruler? Don't you have to pay life points? Oh God, you're right. <laughs> you don't have enough life. At points. the same time, like Thought Ruler could give me life points if I think it'll survive. So hold on, what's let me read Thought Ruler. I'm pretty you sure pay a pay, thousand. Pay a thousand. I forgot about that. Yeah, so you can't. So Thought Ruler does you no good anyways. If you're worried about the if you're worried about like a card like Book of Moon. What's the defense on Thought Ruler if I have Book? Twenty three. So it would be safe if I have Book. But, you, but the targeting effect is useless. And is it worth setting yourself back a turn? Can you avoid not just, to see a card? I'm just going to go for game. Okay. I'm just I'm just going to go for game because you summon Fortress and you're bigger than that. Yes. And you have Solidarity up. Yeah. So twenty. this over that is already game. Uh, is this fine? Yeah. Yeah, I can't stop that. Ooh, Dark End Dragon. Is that one fine? Our he priority is. effect. Yeah, so I... Oh, no, he you lose his 500 attack. Yeah. So you go down to 2,100. Yeah. God, I could put it in defense if I'm really that worried about losing, but I just want to... Winner, winner die here. I think 14? Yeah. Yeah. Keepers. Okay. Yeah, literally nothing I could have done about it. Uh, pass. <laughs> yeah, there's there's nothing I can more. Red, can yellow, green. Actually, I guess what I could have done is I. I don't think. I actually don't think uh, uh, yellow gadget wins because it's only six hundred. I could have made Goyo instead, and then I would have deep risen that. But then I would have a monster on board that's bigger than this, and all of them would be bigger than a normal summon gadget. That is true. So that's that's. Would that have won me the game? 23-28? Yeah, that would have still won me the game. How so? Oh, if you would have done the, uh, if you would have done it with Goyo? Yeah, I should have done it with Goyo. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you got it. I just... I just <laughs> that, is, that is 800. I had, I, had, I had this guy in. 
So this was my other set card, or my other card in hand was these two. That's why I was pissed. Like at the turn after I, the, two, the turn after I deprisoned my own fortress, I fucking draw four. So I was like, cool. Thanks. This is what I get. I deserve this. Thanks for watching, guys.